guys, get ready me for a scavenger hunt in New York City. It's like 7 a.m. right now, which may not seem that bad, but back at home, it's 4 a.m. because of the time difference. I'm actually so tired, but I'm so excited for the scavenger hunt. We're with Fenty, and they organized like a whole scavenger hunt around the city, and I'm so excited. We're doing... <laughs> Come in! <laughs> morning <laughs> we're doing so many fun activities today i don't know like half of the activities plan but i know like some of it and we're also gonna do some shopping i love shopping in new york city it's the best i was just about to put on concealer but i just remember they told me not to put any concealer on today because apparently i'm going to be putting on a lot of concealer throughout the whole day am i mumbling i feel like <laughs> i'm mumbling right now it's so early <laughs> We have to leave in like 10 minutes and I was going to redo my hair, but I guess I'm not going to. Oh my god, I forgot how fast this Benetton dries. It's like leaking down my face. Hee hee. Look at her miniature little <laughs> hair straightener. Perfect for travels. Um, I got this shirt yesterday. Ooh. It says, FBI New York, Kitty Bad, New York, New York, 10036. <laughs> Oops. Today, I'm in the search for golden gooses. I used to really not like them, but my For You page has been all golden gooses, and they've been looking really cute lately, especially the New York City themed ones. Those are so cute, so they have them. I really want to get them today. Favorite deodorant. Everybody go buy this now if you want to smell amazing. Okay, y'all, this is my OOTD. Things really cute. The shoes are pink, like my top. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, get ready with us for the airport. Guys, it's like 5 a.m. right now. We have to leave in 30 minutes, but we're going to New York City for a brand trip with Fenty. <laughs> guys, it's Chelsea's first time in New York City. <laughs> how excited are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how excited are you? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? A million? <laughs> Okay guys, um, we actually gotta go because I just got a call and apparently our ride is here to the airport. I'm so excited to bring Chelsea on this trip because she's been wanting to go to New York City for like the longest time, so yay! I went to bed at like 2 a.m. last night, so I got literally no sleep. I'm gonna sleep so well on the plane. Um, hi guys! Guys, I can feel my nose pimple growing back. Like, I don't know what it is. Every time I get a pimple, it's always inside my right nose. And if you've had a nose pimple, you know they hurt like a bitch. Also, guys, I'm tagging the winners in the caption. Congrats to those who won. If you didn't win, don't worry. There's going to be more in the future. So there's going to be way more chances to win. I have so much work to do today, guys. I have an assignment due in like two days and I haven't started it. And it's not just like a random assignment. It's a pretty big one. So I'm going to spend all day today doing it. I went skiing for the first time in like forever a couple days ago and it was literally so much fun but it was literally pouring rain so we were soaked despite the fact that we had all these like waterproof clothes on. It was also freezing because we were there until like late afternoon so the temperature like dropped but it was so much fun and I'm pretty sure my cousin and I want to go back again soon. We want to stay a little longer, but I was having, like, the worst cramps of my life. It was actually horrible. Can we talk about the fact that cramps ruin everything? I'm about to talk about being on your period for sex. If you don't want to listen to that, then scroll. But can we talk about the fact that being on your period is literally so inconvenient? And it always comes at, like, the most inconvenient time. Okay, Fenty came out with a new concealer, so we're gonna try it out. This is in the shade 185C. I've been waiting for this. I literally remember doing a full face of Fenty and asking if they even had a concealer. Well, now they do. Okay, this looks like a good shade. They actually let me try this in advance on my birthday. So I already got shade match during then, and this is like the perfect shade. This specific shade is for brightening. And then I have another shade that's like the perfect match for my skin. Okay, I took the beauty filter off so you guys can see the skin. It looks so good. I really like it. It's really creamy and it blends so well. And Fenty always has like 40,000 different shades. I didn't go to bed until like 3 in the morning last night. Because once again, cramps. I was literally tossing and turning on my bed all night. I really did not want to wake up today. I woke up at 11. Which may seem early for some of you guys, but I usually wake up at like 10 max. Also, I grow more in love with my hair every single day. Washing it has never been easier. Like, it usually takes me so long to wash my hair because it was so long and thick. But it's so easy and, like, fast now. 
I feel like hair is always something that I'll always like never worry about because at the end of the day it's just gonna grow back but also my hair grows like super super fast give it three months and it'll be back to my regular length like down here however I'm most likely gonna keep like trimming it because I'm really loving and like digging the short hair if you guys want to know a hair secret, the scalp serum from Wave makes your hair grow so fast. I've been using it since like this summer. Not only does it make it grow fast, it makes it so healthy too. And then the Gisu hair conditioner. Oh, I got it in my ear. I left my eyelash curler downstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'm just not going to do my lashes today. Bye guys. Hi guys, get ready me to go skiing. Guys, I haven't gone skiing in like five years. It's literally been so long, so I'm like kind of scared to go, but I'm also so excited. This was like the most last minute plan ever. Last night, my cousin and I just randomly like decided to go skiing today. The first time I went skiing was when I was in like the fifth grade and it was the most fun ever. I didn't even get lessons, I just went for fun. But since I was so young, I got the hang of it so fast. I'm not a pro whatsoever. I don't even think I can like actually ski properly despite the fact that I've been skiing so many times. I literally just like pizza down the whole hill. <laughs> okay, I just took the beauty filter off so you guys can see. Okay, I zoomed in so you guys can see. But yeah, it hurts like a bitch. It's because I just got my period. And this always happens when I get my period. I just like get random breakouts. They're not that bad, but it just hurts so bad. I don't know. It's like my skin's flaking off. Anyways, I wasn't able to find any of my old like ski gear other than my goggles, but I couldn't find my snow pants. So I'm wearing my cousins and it's my guy cousin. So they're like really big on my waist. But yeah, I'm actually hoping that the snow is good up there today. It's been snowing for the past like two days. So I hope it's like fresh snow up there right now. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm in my cousin's room right now. I slept over at her house last night just so we could leave early this morning. But guys, I forgot primer again. Anyway, so like I was saying, we wanted to like wake up early and leave early. But it's like 11 now because we ended up sleeping in because we stayed up until like 3 last night watching Disney movies. Okay, another thing I forgot is eyebrow gel. I left it at my house, but my face is like all covered when I ski anyways. So, so like I don't even know why I'm putting on makeup. But it's like, look good, feel good, so. Okay, I think I'm just going to put on a little bit of highlighter and then I should be good. Just kidding, I'm also going to put on a bit of bronzer. This Kosas bronzer is like amazing. I just blend all of it together. Bye, guys. If you guys can't tell, I like chopped off all my hair. I'm still getting used to it and I'm still trying to learn how to style it, but so far I love it so much. Like my head just feels so clean and it feels so much freeing now not having so much hair in the way. A lot of you guys also asked if I like dyed it because it looks so much darker now. I didn't. This is like my natural hair color. It used to look really light because it was all like dead ends and my hair used to be like bleached blonde so it was super damaged at the ends. But yeah, this is just my natural hair now. It's really dark, but I really like it. I was thinking of like dyeing it again and going like brown with like highlights because I feel like that's so cute, but I don't think now is the time. I think I might do that in summer if I wanted to. It's also so healthy to the point where if I like curl it or strain it or do anything with it, it doesn't hold. Like when my hair was super dead and healthy, it would hold for like the longest time. Also, I have a tattoo appointment in like two weeks, guys. I feel like so much is like changing. This is going to be my first tattoo, so I'm like super excited, but I'm also so nervous. Also, look how big my beauty blender is. I damped it and I forgot how big it gets. It's literally like the size of my whole face. So I'm thinking of getting like my horoscope tatted. If you guys didn't know, I'm a Sagittarius. And I just feel like having a bow and arrow would look so cute. I also want something that I know I'm not going to regret because it's going to be on me like permanently. However, I'm super open to any suggestions you guys have for like a first tattoo. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or designs that you guys think would suit me. Okay, this concealer is like not my shade. This is my summer shade. I'm just going to fix it up with a bit of the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. But yeah, for my first tattoo, I definitely want to get it on my arm somewhere because I want people to be able to see it because I originally wanted to do something like on my collarbone, but I think I'll save my collarbone for like maybe my second tattoo just because I think arm would be like perfect for first. But yeah, guys, I'm actually like so excited. I've been wanting to get a tattoo for like the longest time, but I just never like made the appointment because I was so scared. But this was actually a birthday gift from the outset which is literally so sweet of them. So thank you guys so much. I'm like so excited. 
Also guys, it snowed another like three inches last night. Why does my makeup always look so much better the second time I do it? It looks so good right now. Anyways, bye guys. Hey guys, I just finished my last class of the day. Also, you guys always ask where my robe is from. It's from Victoria's Secret. So comfortable. I think it was on sale too. Anyways, I'm removing my makeup with this Tatcha like cleansing oil. It literally like melts your whole face off. Anyways, I registered in this class like later because I didn't get off the waitlist until like last week. So I missed one lecture, which isn't bad at all. And then I joined today's lecture and it looks like they already covered like two whole topics. And then I read the course syllabus and our midterm is in two weeks. It's at the end of January. Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. I just realized you guys have never been in my bathroom before. I guess this is kind of like my night routine. Right now I'm exfoliating with this like Tasha exfoliator. This is what it is. Also ignore the fact that my bathroom's like dark. I have like my ring light. When I turn on the actual light, it looks so ugly. OMG, oh it's the goddamn bronzer. Okay guys, I'm back, time for skincare. I'm gonna have to sleep in this like waxed and like gelled up hair. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so that means I'm getting it washed. And I don't want it like double washed. I have not used this in a hot minute. Ah! Hello? Anyways, I just ordered Chipotle and I'm so excited for it to come because I'm just gonna watch Netflix. Actually, I don't really have time for that. I have so much homework to do and a midterm to study for. I got this necklace, this one that I'm wearing like right here. I got it specifically to like layer, but I feel like you can't even see it. Like if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't know it was there. I think I'm just gonna take it off because I don't really see the point of it sitting on my neck. And it's from Brandy Mobile, so it's definitely gonna rust. Okay, now I'm using eye cream. This one's from The Face Shop. I'm starting to use like Korean skincare, guys. Oh my gosh, I have like makeup all over my robe. I'm gonna wash it tonight shoot i wanted to put eye patches on okay it's fine i might just do it like later tonight okay i'm doubling up on my moisturizer it's because this one's like different this one feels like a sleeping mask even though it isn't it's the peter thomas roth um, what is this water drenched hyaluronic cloud and i like i'm gonna sleep looking like a grease ball so then when i wake up my skin's like so soft and dewy especially in the winter trust guys okay last step i swear i can never decide between these three face oils i think i'm gonna use this one because i haven't used it in a while this one's from the ordinary it's a rose hip seed oil oils i only put like two drips or three. Oh, i got that all over my desk oil just like locks in all the skincare and it makes you so glowy <gasps> i love this song okay last last step is this fenty skin lip mask it's like the most hydrating thing you'll ever put on your lips bye guys Guys, I just worked out. My workout is like 30 minutes on the treadmill. And boy, did I realize how out of shape I was. I am not a gym girly. I've never been. And today made me realize how dedicated these people that go to the gym like every day are. Like I ran for a solid five minutes and I was like, I want to go home. The main reason why I went to the gym is because my mom was like, you need to get in shape for fashion week. So I was like, okay. It does make me feel a bit more productive. And it's nice to like sweat everything out. I feel like I just let out so much anger. I just took a shower and now I'm getting ready because I have class. I already had two classes this morning, but I have two more today. But wow, guys. Ah! Oh my god. That just squirted everywhere. Despite the fact that my classes are mostly online, I still like to look good. It's like the look good, feel good. I already feel good from like running for five minutes. Because tell me why I could run for like 40 minutes straight when I was in grade eight. Now I can't even run for five minutes without huffing and puffing. It's actually so bad. Like I'm so out of shape. I need to seriously start working on it. My skin feels so soft because I washed my face with this new like foaming cleanser. The key to like dewy and glowy makeup is always skin prep. Also, you need to know like what type of skincare you're putting on your face. I always focus on like hydration and glowiness, like glowy serums and stuff. And this is another hack. I've just been mixing like face oil with my skin tints or like foundation. Is I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so I slicked my hair back today. It's never been so greasy. But guys, I'm seriously debating like chopping off all my hair. Just I don't know. I just feel like I want to change. I don't know, I thought of getting like a bob, but I was like, I'm gonna regret that like a week after the haircut. Okay, ignore the fact that I literally have one earring in. I can't find the other one. I have no idea where it went. I think I'm gonna put these in. I got these for my birthday from Chelsea. 
anyways i'm so glad that all my classes are today like i did this on purpose like yes i still have like tutorials and labs this week but don't really count okay blush is looking a little cray cray right now but i'm gonna fix it up with concealer literally concealer fixes everything a little on the nose too i don't know if it's just me but this happens to all my concealers like it doesn't matter how good the packaging is it's like always leaking no matter what Okay, but can we talk about how amazing this Hourglass concealer is? I've also been using this in summer and it's still more than half full. Anyway, so far I really like my classes. They're all super chill. Okay, I did kind of a shitty job baking, but it's fine. Also guys, what is with all the Joey King hate? Like, I think she's such a cutie. People on the internet are just such fucking bullies. Like, so fucking rude. Also guys, I ripped all my nails off except for this one it literally won't come off and they're pressed on nails i hurt like a bitch to get them off but i'm trying to get my nails to grow out natural by the way guys let me know what type of nails i should get for fashion week because i have no idea your fashion week is also near like valentine's day and i really want to get valentine's day nails hold on does my makeup look bomb as fuck today okay per Okay, for my lips, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna line it with this Rare Beauty lip pencil or lip liner, whatever. I actually love their lip liners. You don't have to sharpen it. And this color is so perfect. And then I'm just gonna do my Summer Fridays on top. This one's in pink sugar. Okay, I'm gonna put on these earrings now. I feel like I look like I'm going to dance class. Bye, guys. Here are some random facts about me that you probably didn't know. When I was in grade 7, my best friend and I were obsessed, literally obsessed with Stranger Things. But we were even more obsessed with Finn Wolfhard. So we had a fan account for him on Instagram with like 4,000 followers. We even went to his concert because he used to be in a band. My big three are Sagittarius, Gemini, and then Sagittarius again, so I'm like a double Sag. I found out recently that apparently some of y'all think I live in a mansion. I have no idea where that came from concerning the fact that I've never shown my house before, but guys, I live in a townhouse. We've lived in a townhouse basically my whole life. The only time I've lived in like a house house was when we were renting out a basement when we first moved to Canada. But then again, that doesn't really count. I'm 18 years old and I'm in my first year of university right now. I have two older sisters, so I am the youngest in the family. My lips are real. A lot of you guys ask if I have filler. Fun fact, I used to want to get surgery to get my lips reduced. I've lived in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Canada, and hopefully the States soon. So I can speak both English, Chinese, and a little bit of Canto, like the most mediocre. Oh, and like a little bit of French, like the most basic amount of French that you could know I can speak because we learned that in high school. I can play the piano, the violin, the clarinet, and the guitar. I'm not like a pro at all of this, but I'm pretty good. I've played lacrosse when I was in grade six or seven. I've always wanted to figure skate, but it was too expensive. So when I was 16, I saved up my money to buy my own pair of skates. And then I taught myself how to figure skate until I could do some private lessons. I had to quit like two years later because I graduated high school and then I just got too busy. My celebrity crushes are like Theo James and Neymar Jr. But my type of guys are like Golden Retriever. So I don't really know how that works, but this is the most satisfying part of doing your makeup. In 2020, I had the biggest fucking book phase. All I would do is read. This was also like prime COVID, so I had nothing to do, but it was so much fun. I read, I think, up to like 50 books. So let me know if you guys want suggestions. I'd be so down to make a video on it, but I just don't know if you guys would be interested. My life changed in 2023. I was given so many amazing opportunities, and I got to meet like the best people ever, and I'm forever grateful and thankful for that. It's just crazy to think how much can change in just one year. Bye, guys. Guys, ever since Milk sent me their Hydro Grip Primer and Set Duo, I've been obsessed. It has been an absolute staple to my makeup routine. It makes my makeup last all day and look 10 times better. Milk's Hydro Grip Primer has a gel-like formula that nourishes and hydrates my skin. Like, look at that consistency. We all know what Schooler does to our makeup, but this primer will make your makeup last all day. Not only does this primer keep your makeup on for up to 12 hours, it also makes your base just look 10 times better. Applying some foundation to show you guys how nice your base will look with this primer. It seriously makes such a big difference. Like, look at how dewy and hydrated my skin looks. The final step is to lock everything in with their setting spray. This spray prevents melting, fading, and creasing. 
Hey guys, I'm going to Sephora today because it's been a long time. I genuinely don't remember the last time I bought anything from Sephora or the last time I've made a skincare smoothie. You guys said you guys missed it, so I'm bringing it back for you guys, but I haven't bought anything from Sephora because I really don't need to. I feel like I have enough stuff already, but I did get a gift card for Christmas, so I'm going to spend it. I've been eyeing a few couple things at Sephora, and so I'm really hoping that they'll have it. Holy shit, I forgot how good this combo was. There are a lot of things from Hourglass that I really want to get, but every time I go to that section, everything is sold out. And I have been eyeing their blush palette for the longest time, but it is limited, so I don't know if they'll still have it. Also, I'm unpacking from New York City as we speak. <laughs> this spray was sent to me by Cora, and it's so refreshing. It reminds me of the Caudalie spray. A lot of you guys have been asking about my whole like school situation. So I was originally going to take a gap semester and then transfer out for a fall term. But I was doing some thinking and I was like, I won't have enough credits to transfer. So I had taken four classes for my first semester, but two of those classes are full year classes. And so if I don't finish out the course this semester, then I won't even get half of the credits. Which really fucking sucks because I already finished a whole semester of it. I'm going to call them up and see what they can do, but I already completed two of my courses, so I have credits for those two classes. And then for this semester, I registered for two online courses. Why are online courses so fucking expensive? I took a business class, like a humanities class, and those two classes alone were like $1,500. Like what? <laughs> I know compared to like other prestigious schools, that's like nothing. But like still. So. And I'm trying to see if they'll let me take my English class this semester online. Because for some reason they don't offer like an online course for English. But like it's required for every first year so I kind of have to take it. I wish I would have just taken it my first semester. There are many many reasons as to why I'm doing my classes online. But that's a story for another day. My eye always gets so red every time I curl it. But guys, I'm so excited to transfer this fall. I just want to get out of here and be living in New York City. It doesn't matter what school I go to. You guys are all like, go to NYU. But like, guys, NYU is so prestigious. You guys really think I'll get in. <laughs> I'm definitely targeting Fordham, though. Looks like a really amazing school. But classes start again tomorrow, and I'm really excited. Because I'll be able to do schoolwork while traveling. And the good thing about college courses is that you're done by, like, early April. And so, like, our summers are so much longer than what it was in high school. What the fuck, you guys? This is not okay. I have two of these, they're different shades. Thankfully, they're like similar enough in color, but I'm really upset about this because I really did like this one. Anyways, let me know if you guys want a haul when I come back. Bye, guys. These are my ins versus outs of 2024. Okay, I'm gonna start with my outs. My first out is slouching. I've been trying to fix my posture for the past seven years. I've been slouching my whole life and I literally just can't fix it. It's like a habit. Like, look, even right now I'm slouching and I... Ugh. Number two is getting mad or sad over things that you have no control over. Like, there are things that you just can't control that really upset or angers you, but what can you do about it? So I guess it kind of goes into, like, overthinking as well. Look at how gorgeous this cream is. It's from Peter Thomas Roth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm using a lot of new stuff in my skincare today. Like this collagen serum from Skin Fix and this eye cream from The Face Shop. Been getting a lot of new skincare recently, so I really want to try out everything. But yeah, I honestly think overthinking is literally so bad for you. Obviously, it's a human instinct. Like, half the time, you can't even help it. But like, it's such a waste of time. And it stresses you out even more, which is so bad. Okay, wow, this cream is amazing. It looked and felt really thin, but it actually thickened up as I was, like, blending it in. My next out is having a messy room. I'm saying this as there's piles of clothes all over my floor, but I'm genuinely working on it. Your room reflects your mind. So if you have a clean room, I feel like you can think clearer and overall just be a little happier. I also spend a significant amount of time in my room doing work and whatnot, so I feel like having a clean room is definitely a good move. Another one is comparing myself to others. This is such an unhealthy habit. Sometimes you seriously just can't help it. But at the end of the day, you are who you are. And you shouldn't have to try and be someone else. Next is people pleasing. I do this so often. I want people to like me so bad that I go out of my way to like try and please them and be someone that I'm not. So we are no longer doing that this year. Too much screen time. This one's a little hard because I'm on social media. And so obviously a lot of the times I'm always on my phone. But I really want to set a limit to have time for myself and not the internet. Because being on the internet for too long is not good for you. Okay, now moving in to ins. The first one is reading. 
Back in 2020, I was the biggest book nerd you would ever meet. I read like 50 books in one year, which doesn't seem a lot, but it was a lot. I was seriously having the time of my life though. For 12 months straight, all I did was read. I, I never went out with anyone. And then life got busy and I stopped, but I'm bringing it back. Next is traveling. I want 2024 to be the year of traveling for me. There are just so many places that I want to go and travel to. Staying active. This one's a really big one for me because I feel like, like I'm always just in bed. So that is one of my biggest goals for this year. I'll talk more about it in like a separate video. Cooking. I'm always ordering out and it's such a waste of money. I definitely think I should cook more. Not caring about people's opinions, especially for those who don't even know you personally. Last one is doing things for me. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready me to go get Wingstop. Literally every time I come to the U.S., the first thing I get is Wingstop. I haven't been able to get it the past couple days we were here because we've been getting, like, dinners with people. And it's just been too busy. But today is my last day here, so I have to get Wingstop. Unpopular opinion. I personally hate in and out I just think it's so disgusting. Like, the fries... But it's different for me because I don't eat beef, so obviously I can't really eat their burgers. But them fries taste like they're a week old and they're so dry. I do, however, love Chick-fil-A. It's so good. Fun fact, really sad fact actually, we don't have any of these like fast food restaurants in Canada. We don't have Cane's either. Like we don't have so much. Like, we don't have Target. We don't have Trader Joe's. Like my hair feels so crusty. It looks like I have dandruff because I was at a shoot yesterday from like 7 a.m. all the way until 5 p.m. And my hair got redone at least like 10 times. This moisturizer, you guys, is so good for traveling. It was so much fun though. I literally can't wait for you guys to see what I've been working on. It seriously, is so exciting. New York City is literally so windy. It's the windiest place I've ever been to my whole entire life. So last night we went to the club. And that's another thing. Why is clubbing in New York City so much more fun than clubbing anywhere else? Anyway, so as we were waiting in line, I literally thought I was going to get blown away. I've never ever shivered so much in my fucking life. And I usually don't get cold. I'm more afraid of the heat. But I was literally- oh. Okay. I literally died outside in line. Okay, what the fuck, you guys? I don't know how to close this. It, like, won't snap back. And I- it's, it's fine. Also, if you were a girl at the highlight room last night, and if you were dancing with some Asian girl, that was me. <laughs> and I know your friend took a video, so if you could please send it to me because I really want the video. I thought it was so cute. You were so pretty, by the way. The chance of her seeing this is like 3%, but... I'm so sad we're leaving today, guys. Feels like it's been such a short trip. Well, I mean, it was a short trip. We were literally here for like three days. But I'll be back in New York City in no time. I wasn't gonna wear that much makeup today because I'm going on a plane later, but here we are. I just can't stop myself. I'm most likely just going to be removing all my makeup when I get on the plane. I feel dead, tired, and hungry. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready for me to go get my nails done. First of all, thank God it's the last day of the month. This has been the slowest month ever. It felt like it was 40 years. Like, I don't know if it was just me, but this month has just been so uneventful, dry, and boring. And I'm just ready for it to be over. Anyways, I've been letting my nails grow out for the past, like, three weeks because they've just been so unhealthy. Okay, so I'm debating between two different sets of nails. This is option number one. That was actually a picture of my nails last year. I just love the way they turned out last year and I think they're so simple and cute for Valentine's Day. I'm also going to Fashion Week next week, which I'm so excited about, you guys. Um, but yeah, I think those nails are really perfect and simple for Fashion Week because I don't want to do too much and have it clash with my outfit. But I'm just stuck on the fact that I already did them last year. I don't want to redo it, but I don't know. Okay, this is the second option. I think those are so cute and perfect for Valentine's Day. I think I'm definitely leaning towards the second option just because I haven't done like a cool design on my nails in a while. But let me know what you guys think. Also, there's been so many new products coming out lately. This is one of them. This is the Kosas BB Burst. I think this comes out tomorrow, but it literally says top secret until 125. I haven't unpacked my makeup bag at all because I'm traveling again next week, so I don't see the point. Okay, this is a little secret, but Tower 28 is coming out with lip balms. I'll do a review in a separate video, including like the milk jelly tints that I want to eat so bad. 
But yeah, literally what I'm saying, there's so many new beauty products coming out recently. I, I'm so overwhelmed. Okay, Patrick Tower recently restocked all his blushes in Sephora. So I got this shade She's Wanted. I've been trying to get my hands on this blush for the longest time. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a deep berry red. I love these type of blushes. I always do the cream first and then the powder on top. Okay, I also got the Fenty Loose Powder, which I've been dying to try for oh, the longest time. And I finally got it i got this on my trip with fenty and i got this in the shade lavender they also let me get the shade banana but i'm trying lavender today okay i just realized i didn't even put on concealer this is the born this way concealer it's a little yellow because this is my summer shade but on the packaging of this it says it's really good for brightening so it'll brighten this up also all the packaging for fenty is like so gorgeous oh my gosh it smells like cupcakes i want to eat this I think I'm going to tap it in because I don't want it to be giving flashback Mary. Okay, that's so pretty. I'm going to do a bit setting spray. Anyways, life update. I did my first midterm um, like two days ago and it actually went so well. I'm not going to lie. I was stressing for this test because I've just been all over the place recently. I've been so busy and I was just really worried that this test wasn't going to turn out the way I hoped it would. We only had an hour to do 100 questions. I just remember looking at the timer and having like two minutes left with five questions remaining. So that was just part A of my midterm. There's two parts to my midterm. And then I have this huge paper due for business in a few weeks. Also, guys, when I was in New York last week, we went to Lip Lab. And we got to customize our own, like, lip gloss and lipsticks. This is the lip gloss that I made. I think it's so cool. I put, like, shimmers in it. And it has my name on the tube, which is so unique. And I did vanilla scented. It takes me back to, like, elementary school. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that so cool? Like, I made this lip gloss. It's so pretty. And I also got to make, like, a little lipstick. This is what it looks like. This is my name on the top too. And then we got like lip scrubs. They gave us a goodie bag, which was so nice of them. A bunch of like lip liners. I'll do more of like an in-depth like review in another video. But yeah, I just think that these are so cool and unique. Anyways, bye guys.